What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Akulai Espresso, and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. In this one, we're doing a little bit of a recap, perhaps theorization of something that may be coming to Black Ops 3 in the next day here, but it's gonna be dealing with a brand new update that went live for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One here earlier in the day. As of this going live, it's probably available as well for PC, but it was an update that had a couple of gigs attached to it. A lot of people seem to think that it is only for Zombies Chronicles, prepping all that, and the patch notes kind of indicate that way as well, but a lot of people People also think that it's right around that time when we might be getting new DLC weapons here within Black Ops 3. So we're theorizing a little bit about what we might be able to see if new weapons do drop tomorrow, and if not, then what actually will be coming as of now and tomorrow. So as it stands right now, the patch notes that went live for PlayStation 4 on the global end, PlayStation 4 only, Zombies Chronicles support available May 16th, which basically just preps once again the consoles and everything for what will be coming out in the next week. And then overall, the patch in general, which goes for both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One at the time of the patch notes going live. The update addressed a number of general performance issues, different things with the black market glitches where, say, supply drop bundles would not remain after an event happened, and supply drops disappearing from players' inventories. Additionally, icon attachments will load quicker in creator class and gunsmith menus. It addressed exploits that allowed users to equip camos before unlocking them, and then made some fixes to the ballistic knife. But for those that follow the back end development process of this kind of stuff, that short list of things that very well could have just been a hot fix save for the PlayStation 4 Zombies Chronicles support, 2.29 gigabytes is quite a hefty total for a download of something that really doesn't cover all that much. So that begs the question, what else could be in here? And once again, it may very well be around that time when new DLC weapons drop. So that said, that in mind, what could be coming here? What new weapons could be added into Black Ops 3? Well, I got a list of a couple weapons that I think definitely would work, and a lot of these stem from zombies, because though we have a lot of the weapons replaced in zombies in terms of the wall weapons, and all that kind of stuff, the classic weapons from Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and World at War, the majority of those are replaced with the weapons from Black Ops 3. Yes, but there are a few weapons that are making a return because they were so either fan favorites or so crucial to that map and how it was played. So that said, the way that I see it, we could have a couple of different ones. Let's start out with the first one, that being the Mauser. The Origin starting pistol, this is something that we haven't really seen all that many pistols in the grand scheme of things for Black Ops 3. We've had a couple, yes, but it would be something that we haven't had a single shot ballistic pistol like this in quite some time, if at all. I can't remember at the moment if we did get one at all, but still a pistol would be something that would be new to the game, but also still keep it in line with everything that we know so far in Black Ops 3. The next thing that we could see is the MG-08, an LMG that is once again strictly two origins, but it was an absolute monster of an LMG. And honestly, if this thing does come over to Black Ops 3, that is one of those weapons that immediately falls in the category of I must have. Though we can't pack a punch it and make it even cooler with the audio and the camo, it is something that the MG-08 was still an awesome weapon no matter how you spun it in Origins, so I'd be more than happy to see this come over into Black Ops 3's multiplayer. Whether or not it does, once again, that's for time to tell. And another one that is not necessarily strictly to Origins, but is definitely there because of the Zombies Chronicles and Origins in Black Ops 3, is the STG-44. I definitely think this one is a very viable option. It's a very versatile weapon, and of course is a classic weapon that has been seen in many iterations of Call of Duty. And though it might not specifically fit the time period, of course we have had weapons that don't really fit that time period as well with Black Ops 3. It also could be used as maybe promotional material to ramp up the hype for Call of Duty World War II, being that the STG was something that was very much so used in World War II. Another one could be the M1927 Tommy Gun. This one's been around since Revelations and was one that was a ton of fun to use. And honestly, it was probably one of my favorite weapons on Revelations. Running that in the Thunder Gun was an awesome combination, I think. Get max maximum points and then clear out the rest of the horde and all that kind of stuff with a thunder gun, but the M1927 Tommy gun would once again fit that zombies weaponry. It's already in the game code. It hasn't been moved over into multiplayer just yet. And also it has that World War II aspect as well. Now, also around the community, it's been rumored that the AK-74U is going to be coming to multiplayer and potentially as a DLC weapon starting tomorrow. I've seen images of it in that create a class and paint shop glitch where we saw the HG-40 leaked that way. I don't know if that's the same case, if this is a legitimate thing. And truthfully, I haven't 
haven't really looked into it too much because I personally don't know if I'd like the 74U to be coming into Black Ops 3. Of course, it is another AK variant and the KN44 is essentially the 47, but in a futuristic spin version of it, but just seems weird to add both of those in the same game here at that, but I don't know, that might just be me. Of course, it is still possible it could be coming tomorrow will be the answer for this. And one thing that I also think would fit the melee category quite well is a sickle. We talk about it later on in the video later tonight about five things that changed in Ascension, but the sickle was in Ascension and with that being added into Black Ops 3 with Zombies Chronicles, that weapon is now also in the game code. So it's very possible if they want to throw out some melee weapons, this could be a viable option as well. But once again, as with all these, we have no idea. These are just spitballing ideas. Some weapons that I've noted and jotted down that aren't in the game in multiplayer, but are in the game as of say a while now for zombies, but also coming into the game with the newest update with Zombies Chronicles. So it's very possible that some of this stuff could happen. I don't know how many will be coming that way, simply because Xbox doesn't have Zombies Chronicles for another month, so it'd be weird to see those kind of flip-flop around here with it. But all that said and out of the way, I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys looking forward to new DLC weapons? And if so, what weapons do you want to see coming into supply drops potentially tomorrow? There's no ETA, there's no confirmation on it or anything like that, but 2.29 gigabytes for a couple of small things in the terms of the patch, it is really interesting to think about. So that said, drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Black Ops 3, Modern Warfare Mastered, World War II, Infinite Warfare, all that good stuff. We got you covered here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me here outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But I'll see you guys later for five things that changed on Ascension. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Mine is Nicole Espresso. Take care and peace.